Hi everyone, it's Haribo21. Uh, today I'm bringing you a video on how to port uh, weapons from older Call of Duties uh, through to the new Black Ops 3 mod tools. Um, now, it, there's a new conversion rig that was released recently by someone called Collie, uh, which is it's much better than the original rig. It fixes a lot of animation problems that we had with the hands and the fingers and things, makes it look much closer to how it should do. Um, there's also been an improvement to Wraith, which is allows it to now uh, dump what are called SE anims, which I'll, I'll show you here. SE anims are, are these ones, you can't drag them into Maya anymore, you'll actually have to import them, but these are, are much better and they also support the um, note tracks, so you can get the official note track time, so big well done to uh, DTX Porter, or DTZ, sorry, uh, Porter for, for giving us this. Um, to begin with, we're, we're going to use the, the MP40 from Origins and port that through to Black Ops 3. Um, the reason that I'm picking that is that it has a clip, which is a separate object, uh, which none of the videos I've seen explaining how to port actually go into detail about needing to connect a different uh, clip to the gun so that you can actually animate it properly. So we're going to run through that. Um, also, with Collie's rig, he provides this, which is a, a shelf for Maya which uh, basically gives you some, it makes porting guns much, much easier. A lot of these buttons, they, they do some of the things that you would normally have to do here in the outliner, like renaming tags or selecting tags. Uh, so you, pretty much you don't need to do that anymore. You can just click a button and off you go. Some of them don't work very well, uh, like this one, for example. If you look at it, you'll see that it's because it's pointing to joints one. And most of the time when you drag a scene into Maya, it will be called either by its name, file name, or it will just be called joints. So because it's looking for joints 1, it then gives an error down here saying you can't find it. If you rename the group to joints 1 and then click the button, it'll then do what it's supposed to do, which is connect the gun to the hands and rename the tag from J-Gun to tag weapon. Um, I just don't bother using that, because it's much easier just to, just to drag it down yourself. It's really not very hard. Anyway, uh, we'll get started now. So to begin with, the first thing we're going to need to do is uh, go to Mob Me and get the conversion rig quite easy uh, right here you'll see here the improved conversion rig for black ops 3 tx to t7 and there's a good comparison there see how funny the hand was and how it is now it's much better much much better uh, he's got some instructions here on how to use it but honestly even I had trouble reading these and I like to think I'm pretty quick at following instructions um, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll do a video tutorial explaining what you need to do <coughs> and hopefully uh, you guys will be able to port your weapons from there. Um, I'd also like to say that me and Noob for Lunch are working on a gun pack, uh, porting all of the guns from Origins through to Black Ops 3. I spent all day today, literally about 15 hours straight, porting gun after gun. I have ported about 20 guns in the course of one day. That's how easy this is to do now. Also with the new SE anims, it uh, ports the note tracks as well, so we'll have the exact correct timings for the, for the sounds and things, and we'll have the right references to the sounds and things, which will make it much, much easier to do. Okay, so to begin with, uh, what you need to do is go to Modme and pick up the conversion rig. You can download it here. Uh, you'll also need to get Wraith, which you can also get from Modme. See Wraith, if you go to the home page, you'll be able to get that. Uh, what you got to do is run Black Ops uh, 2, or I'm using Black Ops 2 anyway, you could use another game. But run Black Ops 2 and dump the, the gun that you want, and in this case you'd also dump its mag as well, as that will be required. I've already done this, so I'll just show you here. My Black Ops 3 directory, the model export folder. I made a little folder called Black Ops 2. And in here we have the Mac for the MP40, a world model and a view model. And we also have uh, the actual gun itself right here. Okay. So to begin with, what we need to do is open up Maya. I recommend using Maya 2016 or above. I'm using 2017. I've got a free trial. You can see it there. It's counting down. I'll do something about that one day. Uh, the reason is that uh, I had 2012 and I had 2014, 
but the rig was created on a student version of Maya 2016, so it actually doesn't open correctly in any older Mayas. A lot of joints were missing, and it gave errors down the bottom when you tried to open it. It just wasn't really usable. Okay, so to begin with, what you need to do is uh, find your Mac. So we've got one here. What you need to do is drag the the, the Mag scene, the Maya scene, onto onto the onto Maya, and then you'll drag this on as well, which is the bind file, which binds the Mag. Uh, if you notice on on Maya 2017, everything looks white. This is really really irritating me. I don't know why it will be like this, but if you go to renderer and go to legacy default viewport, you can then look at it just like we used to before, pressing four, five, and six on the keyboard, or seven for full break. Anyway, we've now uh, Found the uh, Mac, so we're going to save scene. And it takes me to the same directory that I dragged the scene in from. So I just call this, just for convenience, I just call it Binded. And then we're going to open up a new scene in Maya. And this time we are going to bind the gun. Uh, so let's just find our gun here. Where did you go? There it is. Okay, so I drag in the gun, drag in the bind. Again, you can check that it's found properly, because if you click it, it'll, it'll be pink. It wouldn't have been pink before. So then we'll save this scene as well, and we'll call this Binded 2. Uh, it's just uh, for reference, you can do it any way you want. Anyway, now the gun is in there, we want to go back to our mag. Which is right here. And you'll drag the Binded uh, binary file which is what we created earlier onto the scene and voila the bag is now in the scene and as you can see it's in the wrong place what you need to do is click binded joints which is uh, basically this scene so as its meshes there's its joints if you click this or you can press w on your keyboard this is so that you can manipulate it and move it you hold alt on the keyboard and use the left mouse button to, to look around scroll in and out with the mouse wheel. Uh, I'm covering this because a lot of other tutorials that I've used in the past don't explain anything about Maya and doing simple things like just moving the view can be very confusing if you've never used it before. Okay, now moving on, what we need to do is uh, place the, the mag in the right place. As you can see it's miles off at the moment, so we'll just put it over here. Uh, what I usually do is quickly look at a picture good idea of where where it is supposed to be. So here's a good picture. No, that's not a good picture. That's in fact a terrible picture. What's a better one? Uh, I suppose that one's probably the best we're going to get, isn't it? Okay, so there's like a little line there and it's a, a little bit below. So if we go back to Maya, yeah, there it is. It's about the same, just down a little bit maybe. This won't matter really, because later on we'll, we'll actually be positioning the clip using the new attachment system that Black Ops 3 provides. Uh, so it means that you'll actually see the uh, clip get dropped. Uh, it won't just uh, animate on the screen, you'll uh, see it in the third person. You'll actually see the character pull the clip off and drop it on the floor, and it will stay there afterwards. Well, for a limited time, I assume. So now we've done this, what we need to do is open up the joints for the gun, which is here, and open up the joints for the uh, clip, which is here, and you just want to hold the middle mouse button on this and drag it over J-Gun and let go. This is now put tag clip inside of J-Gun, so now if we were to move J-Gun, you'll see that the clip moves with it. Now another thing I do, which most other people don't bother with really, is I also get the meshes and I middle mouse clip drag them up here as well and then I can just uh, click this if you hold control you can click another one as well and then press the delete button to remove that so then uh, another thing that, that you should do really is go to windows and go to rendering editor and go to hypershade uh, now the reason for this is if you look um, let's make this a bit bigger. you can see that uh, one of the materials has been duplicated it's because it's used on the mag and it's used on the gun. So because I dragged in a second scene, it has actually created another material and it's given it the prefix binded because that's what the file was called 
Uh, so what you want to do is just hold the right mouse button on there, select objects, work material, and then go to the other one, so there's camo one, so you go to this camo one, and go assign material to selection. So it's now using this material instead of this one. So you can click on this, and you can delete it. Uh, you need to do this, otherwise you're going to get missing material uh, errors in Ape, which we don't want. Get that out of the way. Okay. Uh, sometimes on other guns you'll find there are things like clan tags and player tags and things. I usually uh, find the material for it here. I right click, select objects with the material, and then I delete those objects. Uh, and then I delete the material, because you don't want them, there's no need for them. And uh, afterwards, in, uh, for some strange reason, the, the things drop from Wraith. The, when we used to do this with Lime, you'd do that and they would just disappear from here. But with Wraith, for some reason, it leaves this weird little thing here, so you can just click it and delete it. Or you can leave it, it's up to you. I recommend deleting it, because it's better to keep things tidy and organized in case you ever need to come back to it. Okay, moving on. So I then save the scene again. Uh, I usually call this gun and oh, mag bind it, just for my reference. We're going to need this again later, so for now, we'll just leave it as it is. And then the next thing you need to do is get the conversion rig, uh, and it will come in a RAR file, so you just open that with WinRAR. Uh, and if you come here, I'll, I'll put it somewhere, let's, let's find it, uh, there's the mag. Uh, where have I got it? No, wrong one. There we go. So it will give you this this file. Uh, what I usually do is just copy paste it into every folder that I'm working with. So I have like hundreds of this, and the reason is uh, ages ago when I was using a rig similar to this, I only had one copy of it, and I lost it. And I was taking ages finding the web page to to download it again, and then I would go and lose it again, and it was very infuriating. So now I just keep a million copies of it everywhere. Another thing you're going to need uh, when doing things on Black Ops 3 is um, export to bin, which you'll find in the Black Ops 3 directory. I think it's in here. There, hmm. there it is. So I just copy this. Uh, there are better ways. You can use Kronos, which is a, another program that's provided on ModMe, which you can just drag and drop your, your things into it, and then it will convert them for you. Uh, but I find this way is simple enough. I don't like to overcomplicate things. Once I've learned a way, I tend to stick to it. Uh, okay, so I copy that, and then I go back to my folder where I was working on the gun, uh, which is right here, and I just, I just pop it in there. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is drag the rig onto the scene. And that's all pop this up and it's because he worked on a student version of Maya so it's just letting you know that this file was created on a student version which is for educational purposes basically so you don't need to worry too much about that anyway as you can see they look a bit messed up but don't worry about that it's fine we don't actually care about the view arms at all um, I think this is actually Jessica from Shadows of Evil uh, some of the other view hands are, I have a lot of problems using them um, but the reason that they call this a conversion rig um, is because if you look uh, the joints are laid out, I mean there's the original joints as you can see, and these are like conversion joints that will weight things uh, so that they, they work properly when you drag in the anims. Anyway, moving on from there, so what you want to do is um, open up tag view, uh, open up tag ADS, and then open up tag torso, and you'll see here tag weapon right. Uh, you want to open the joints for your gun, and you'll see J gun, and then you want to just middle mouse click drag it over the tag weapon right make sure you're on top of it not above not below on top of it and then it'll go inside of it as you can see it's in the wrong place uh, back when we used to, to do this on black ops 2 to world of war and things it, it wouldn't be there anyway so what we want to do is um, come up here to translate, so I think it's Control A to open this window. Uh, okay, maybe it's not. There's attribute editor there. Anyway, yeah. No, sorry, it is. It is Control A. Oh, no, it's not. Anyway, attribute editor. You want to open that. Uh, you go to JGUM, and you'll see that there are translations here. You want to zero these translations. And as you see, let's now put the gun in the correct place. Well, 
different place to where Black Ops 3 guns would appear, they actually stay in the hand. Uh, but on every older Call of Duty, the gun just floats in front of them like so. Anyway, so that is now our rig. This is now ready. Uh, we'll be using this for any anim that we port. So, file, save scene, and then I just call this one rig. Now be very careful not to overwrite this file. Uh, it'll ask you several times during the process of porting anims, do you want to save changes? You do not want to save changes to the rig. Uh, you can save a separate file if you want, but do not save over the rig or you will have to create it again. Anyway, this again is because I'm on the student version of Maya, so it's telling me that uh, anything I make is a student version file. Continue. So we now saved our rig. If we've got a file, come down to recent files. You'll see here, it's always at the top there. Okay, now that's ready. The, the rig is all good to go. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is a animated model. You need to use these to convert uh, models or to convert animations uh, in Ape or in Asset Manager in, in older Call of Duties. Uh, if you remember, Ape is, is this thing right here with a little picture of a monkey. I love this. Okay. I love Ape. It's, it's the best thing I've ever seen. It's the best thing since sliced bread. Um, if your view isn't the right way up here as well, this is something else I thought I would cover because I. I had to change this years ago when I was using one of the older Myers, and then when I loaded up 2017, for some strange reason, this thing was flipped again, and it took me forever to work out how you put it right again. So what you need to do is, I believe it was come up to edit, uh, no, it wasn't, it was Windows, and then settings and preferences, and then preferences again, and if you come down to, I think it's just, uh, it's settings, yeah. This will be ticked. You want it to be on Z, not on this. You want the Z, uh, and then once you close it, or once you save and close it, it'll just flip the view like that. It doesn't actually matter. You can keep it the way it was before. I, I find it very distracting, though. So, anyway, what we need to do now is uh, we've got our rig, but it, it, the gun is called J Gun in it, and J Gun is not used in Black Ops 3. It's now called Tag Weapon. So what we need to do. Um, is rename this. So to rename it, you just click there. You can rename it up here. Or you can just double click on there. Here's a tag weapon. Uh, this is also something this button will do if you use it. It will rename it for you. Uh, what you want to do now is click here. So you've got the joints. Uh, in older Myers, you've got to edit select hierarchy. In newer Myers, you'll find it under select hierarchy. This will select all of the joints from the view hands, including the gun as well. Um, and then what you want to do is select one of the meshes, one of the meshes from uh, the view arms. I mean, we used to say from the gun, but everyone now is saying the view arms. I don't think it really matters. It just needs to have a mesh, otherwise you can't export a model. Um, anyway, just hold shift, click on a mesh. Doesn't matter which one. It's usually that one people tend to go with. It's that one that the, the button picks as well. Doesn't actually matter though. And then you'll have these plugins. I'm going to do a separate video on how to install these plugins. I'm also going to have the links to them in the description uh, because there are some problems I'm now aware of with versions that are available at the moment. Uh, they have since been fixed, but the links were not correct where I downloaded them from. Uh, I don't know if Port has fixed it on ModMe yet, uh, but I'll, I'll provide the new files. Anyway, go to Call of Duty Tools and you want to export the model. And then we want to click the three dots and you notice it takes you to your Black Ops folder, where it'll ask you the first time you open the program to specify where Black Ops is. Come into Model Export. I've got my model in Black Ops 2. And again, I keep my animated model along with everything else. So I'll find MP40 View, and I'll just call this MP40 Animated Model. Okay, enter. And then Save selection, which just basically uh, tells it to remember the things that we had selected. So if we deselect and then get save selection, it picks those up again. So then export selected. Do we want to save changes to the rig? No, we do not, because this needs to change back in a moment. So say no. And now you'll find that it has exported our animated model. You'll find it uh, in the directory we were using before, which. There you go, right there, MP40 animated model. Oh, we'll worry about that for now. That's actually all we needed to do. So we want to go back to uh, rename this back to J Gun, or you can just uh, reopen the, the rig. Don't save, never save. Uh, you'll see that it's 
revert it back to how it was before, uh, which is the gun main join is now called J gun. Again, you need this because that's what the animations are going to be looking for when you're dragging them in. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is the, well, the first thing we want to do is the ADS animations. Now, ADS animations are, are quite easy. I know a lot of people have trouble. There's a lot of uh, confusion around needing to drag in the idle animation before dragging in the um, other animation, or the other ADS animation. You actually don't need to do that. I don't know why people have ever thought that you do. I've never done it. There's no need to. Um, this is something else that I'm going to be providing in the description, which is to, to use the new SE anims. We're not going to use the, the MEL anims. We are going to use the, the SE anims. Very much better, but uh, just to give you an idea, Wraith will dump both. These are the MEL files. These are the original ones that, that we used to use. Uh, and these are Porter's new ones, which he tells me are the more fluid, uh, they look better, they're one-to-one -one exact, and they contain the note tracks, and we can use those note tracks. Um, but the problem is you can't you can't drag them onto Maya. You actually have to come up here, SE Tools, Import, SANIM. Uh, and then you want to navigate to, to wherever you have your animations. I've got it here. Uh, you can actually add uh, shortcuts over here. Just put, I mean, all you need to do is just drag on a folder. So when you navigate to your directory, which we've got here, so my computer, C, uh, and then I've got it in... Uh, my desktop, so I've got users, uh, yeah, David, desktop, uh, Call of Duty stuff, do not delete, Black Ops 2 stuff, see, see there it is, so all I did was drag that onto there and I added it as a shortcut, so now I can just click there and it takes me straight into it, uh, exported files, Black Ops 2, uh, I moved things into their own folders, you would usually just have these two options, but no, I actually made a folder so I can keep the map separate helps me to find things and stops you from overwriting different material because some things were changed later in the game some some textures were changed and things like that sometimes you want the old ones so anyway moving on uh, it's origins we're going to be using uh, so the anim folder we want to come in uh, and then here we go we are now looking for our anim now what I do is I have the folder open uh, in Windows Explorer as well uh, this way I can look for the anim I want here uh, and then what I do is say so the first one we're going to do is ADS down. So I just rename and copy the name. And then I come over here and I just pop it in there and boom, it takes you straight to it. You just click it, open. And, uh, if you drag this now, you'll see that it's moving, wobbling around. Uh, this is because that's that's what happens when you use your AD, uh, when you ADS, uh, the gun actually, or the whole torso moves. So this is when you're putting the gun back down, returning to hip view. Uh, so anyway, there we go. That's now, oops, now in the right place. So all you need to do is um, select tag view and tag torso. Uh, but if you have this ADS, uh, this Maya shelf thing, this, this is absolutely wonderful. I really love this. You can literally just go ADS, and it will select these tags for you. Uh, and then we want to go to Call of Duty Tools again, and this time we want to export an X anim. Uh, I was going to ask how many frames is it, see how many frames it is down here, it's an 18 frame animation, 1, 2, 3, 4, 17, 18. So we'll put 18 in there, you don't really want to mess with the FPS, uh, I think Roland says it's going to be like 24 or 26 FPS or something like that. I also don't mess with this quality thing, it's, it, I, I don't understand what it's for. Um, you may have this ticked. Uh, this is to do with the note tracks. Um, now, I actually untick this because I like to get all of the note tracks, although most of these are not needed, so things like it will have reload large and things like that. You, you don't need them. I like to have them just because I'm a, I'm a funny guy. Anyway, so I untick that, uh, and then what we want to do is uh, click the, the three dots here. Uh, this will take us to a, to a navigation screen. You'll notice we're in the anime export folder now. Uh, so I've created a folder in here called Black Ops 2. I have my ports here. Uh, you just create, I, well, this is what I do anyway, you can do this any way you want, but I create a new folder and I name it after gun, so here it is, mp40, and then I just use the same name that the animation had before, so ads down, save, uh, save selection, and it'll, it'll remember these, that we have these selected, so if we deselect, save selection, it'll get them. 
Uh, now, here is what I was mentioning about the node tracks. I do this on every animation because you'll notice that things like the reload large and things, some of them, sometimes they appear on other animations as well. Um, I think this is for some added little sound effects, uh, or it's for third person, I'm not really entirely sure, but grab node tracks and I'll grab all the node tracks that, that Wraith found and put them in for you. Um, now this one, you do not want, this is a absolute nightmare. Uh, one day I'll, I'll Right, I'll change this thing so it actually removes that. But if you have a, a note track in your animation called end, the animation will not convert. It will say it's an illegal uh, note track. So just remove that note. Another thing you can do if you have already ported your animations out and it's too much trouble to, to re go through them all again, you can just come to your XAnim export folder, uh, find the animation. Uh, I think I've already fixed all of these, but okay, I'll go with that one. You can open the anim export folder, which is what this will, will give you. Just edit it in Notepad or something. You can just go and find the tag, and then you can just uh, change it to a different name. This is actually what I did because I, I messed up. I was humiliated by this. I messed up. I pulled up the B23R, and on a ton of these animations, I left it in and didn't realize. So what I did was I just came into my anim export folders. I found the tag. In this one, is it? Uh, place remove. <coughs> yeah, there we go. So we said end here. So all I did was did find and replace and, and changed it to a different tag name. I just did replace all. We can just open all of the animations at once. Uh, if you uh, come there, or not there, sorry. If you come here, just click a whole bunch of them, right click, and you can do edit with Notepad, and I'll open up all of them. And then you can just click. Replace and all open documents, and then go file, save all, and then close all, and it will correct it. So just change it to any other name, doesn't matter what it is, I just called it remove, because I intend on going back through these later and doing it properly. I don't like to have scenes saved that are, that are incorrect in case I come back to them and I forget what I did. Anyway, so back to here. Uh, so there was no notes in this one that were relevant, uh, so get save selection, uh, and then you want to export selected. Do you want to save the changes to the rig? No, you do not want to save the changes. So you click no, and there you go. Your animation has now been exported. If you look in your Call of Duty folder, see I saved mine in Black Ops 2, and I had a folder called MP40, and voila, you have a XAnim export. Okay, uh, now I also, just because I am a proper perfectionist, I don't like to lose anything. I like to make sure I can come back to things. If I've made a silly mistake, that I can fix it again without having to report whole animations. I've had to go through a, the same gun multiple times before. So now I do this. I just save the scene. And then notice it's taking me back to my model folder. So Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Model Export, Black Ops 2, MP40 View. I just create a new folder in here and I call it Adams. And then I just name this the same thing as well. So, oh, lost the name. Let's go get it back. Uh, ADS down. So I just call it the same thing. This is a Maya scene save. Uh, and uh, it's telling me it's student version again. So now we're on ADS down scene instead of uh, on the rig scene. So now you can you can freely save. It's a separate scene. Doesn't matter. Uh, and to get back to your rig. You just come down to here, recent files, down to rig, continue. And we're back at the beginning again, waiting for a new anim. If you want to change anything in one of those other anims, you can get back to it this way. And then I'll return you to where you were before. So you can see the animations in there. Go back to my rig. And there is no animation in there at this stage. So that is the, the first ADS animation. Uh, the next one, I'll just do the same thing again for ADS up. So just copy the name, SE Tools, import SNM, Black Ops 2 stuff, export files, Black Ops 2 origins, XNMs, paste the name, and it'll take you straight to it, open. And now we've got the ADS up. So you see him lifting the gun. Ignore the arms, this is completely irrelevant. Uh, people think you need to have the idle animation on there, but you do not need that, I assure you. Uh, again, so now what we need to do is uh, come up to export XAnim. Uh, this one is 17 frames. Uh, so we'll put 17 here. 
Uh, I check the note just to see if there's any in there. There isn't. It's just N. So we remove that note. Uh, and then what we need to do is select those two tags. But again, I've got this, so you can just click that. And it selects these tags for you. You don't need to, to mess around or, or remember it. It's quite quite useful actually. I, I intend on, on making one of these myself with uh, many many other functions. Uh, want to save this animation as well. P40. Voila. That is all done. You always need ADS animations, even on guns that can't ADS. Uh, it defines where the gun will be held on the screen. So if your gun is not appearing in the right place or it looks wrong in some way, it's most likely because you haven't set a ADS animation. Even the perk bottle, even the perk bottles use ADS animations. And you can't actually ADS with it. In fact, you can't even use it. But it's there uh, just to make sure the viewpoint is correct. So we save selection. Export selected. Save the changes to the rig. No. Okay, now you can just go back to your rig, but like I said, I like to save, so anims. ADS up. And now I've got a, a copy of that as well. We start the new rig. Now that is how you port ADS animations. Every other animation that is not an ADS animation, you do differently. It's still just as simple though, so there's no need to worry or panic or anything like that. You may have multiple ADS animations, some guns have uh, different sights and things on them, and because of that they have different ADS animations, so if you put a sight on a gun, they need to hold it in a different place, so you're looking directly through the sight, so you may see like reflex sight ADS up, or, or uh, I forget the other ones, range finder ADS up, things like that, or grip idols and things like that. So that's done now. We've done the ADS up and the ADS down. Uh, now this is—it's an ADS animation, but this isn't—isn't. Isn't, this is one of the ones that we do normally. So again, I copy the name, and I go to SE Tools, Import SE Animation, Black Ops 2, Exported Files, Black Ops 2 Origins, X Anims. Uh, there we go. Open up the anim. Now if you look, this is a proper animation. He's holding the gun. If you play the animation, you'll see this is him firing the gun. Some people just use the, the regular fire animations for the ADS ones. I don't really see what difference it makes, but, you know, Treyarch did it and IW did it. So if they if they think it needs to be done, then I guess it probably does. Uh, so again, we've got our new animation. So export X anim. Uh, this one is five frames. So five frames. I grab the notes to check if there's any in there. There isn't, so I remove that note. If you got this clicked, then that wouldn't even appear. Okay, it's up to you if you want to do that. I like to do it this way. <coughs> okay. okay, so Black Ops 3, MP40, ADS file, save. And now this time, we don't want to click the ADS button, we want to click this button, prepare to export. And you'll notice this is selected different joints. It's tag torso, tag cam bone. So normally what you would do just click on one, hold control, click on the other, and you would go to either edit, select hierarchy on older Myers, or select hierarchy, and that will select all of the uh, child joints within this joint. Uh, because I've got this, we don't need to do that, so we can just click off, click that, and it will select them for us. Uh, save the selection, uh, export, select it. Again, save the changes, no. And then that's it. That that's the animation done. That's that's literally all you need to do. So I save the scene just so I've got another copy of it. ADS fire. Back to the rig. We'll, we'll go through a couple, but I won't bore you with all of them. So ADS fire is done now. So the next one we will do is uh, screw. We'll, we'll just do them in the order they're in. So crawl back. So this is when you're crawling on the floor. Uh, so you want to do export egg. No, sorry, you don't. You want to. Uh, we like no, we haven't. So save that. No, there's no point saving that. We already had saved it. Uh, so go back to our rig, start over. Okay. Um, this is also something uh, I noticed in that guy's instructions. He says that you need to add this, which basically just adds underscore T7 at the end of all the joint names. And then he says drag the animation in and then click this to remove it again. Um, I don't see why that's needed. It seems to work just fine without doing that. So I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, if anyone can explain to me a reason why you should do that, then, then go ahead, put it in the comments or whatever. But, well, for me, it's, it's working fine. So back in the Origins, X Anims, uh, paste my anim name here. It was called back, not called back empty, it was called back. 
So if voila, and now again, you see we have our animation in place. This is what you'll see while you're crawling along on the floor. So what we need to do now is export the XLM, get the right number of frames, so that's 30. Grab the notes, see, reload small was in there. So I remove the end node, uh, click this button to, to select my joints again. Uh, Black Ops 2, MP40, paste the name, save selection, export selected, no to changes. And that, that's literally all there is to it, it's just that easy. So I save a copy of the scene just for my own records. And then we reload the rig. Oh, I'll click the wrong one. Ah. Click the rig. Okay. So our rig's back open again. We're ready for our next animation. Callback empty. Rename. SE tools import SNM. Back to my animations. Black Ops 2 Origins XNMs. Grab the anim. Open. It's grabbed it for us now. And then I go Call of Duty tools. Export XNM. It's 30 frames. So put that in there. Grab the notes. Delete the end node. You don't need no tracks at all, but if you want to have sounds on your gun, then you should do this. Uh, you can put them in manually as well, but this is the exact correct times. So selection, export selected. No. Oh, okay. Now you did that because I haven't clicked this, so I've not. I've got the note track selected still. Because when you click grab notes, you'll notice it moves your selection down here. So after you click grab notes, click this button, so it puts you back on your joints again. Save selection, export selected. No. It's another one done. Save the scene. Okay, and that's pretty much the gist of it. So we'll just uh, just whiz through a couple more, just so you understand. So I get the name of my animation. Call of Duty tool. Uh, no, sorry, SE tools. Import SNM. Black Ops 2. Exported files. Black Ops 2. Origins. XNMs. Crawl forward. Open. Uh, Call of Duty Tools, export XNM, it's 30 frames again, grab the notes, delete the end node if it's in there, uh, click this to pick up my joints again, save or pick where to save the anim to, paste the name, save, export selected, do not save over the rig, another animation done. Okay, that's, that's pretty much all you need to do for, for all of the rest of the animation. So, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pause the video while I, uh, I whiz through and complete the rest of these. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay then guys, so I've brought you back in now uh, to show you uh, something again to do with note tracks. <clears throat> I've noticed most of the time they were inapplicable in these animations. You will find uh, that you have reload and reload empty, and usually uh, weapons will have a uh, first raise and them as well, uh, which is where they lift up the gun and they usually pull the cock back or, or something like that. Um, now these are the ones that really do matter with no tracks, and I'll show you for why. So we'll do this one, reload, import the S anim. We'll go to our anim, we'll load it. Okay, now come to that. put that in, grab the notes, and what do we got here? We got these two. Now these are telling it to play the sounds when he does the reload. Uh, you need these. These are going to be vital later on. So you don't want this one, remember? You want to remove the end note and select the other ones. Uh, so the animation. Okay. And the other one, oh, yeah, I saved the scene as well. I'm funny like that. Reload. Back to the rig. And like I said, you do this on first raise anims as well, if you have one. This one doesn't have one for some reason. I don't know why. Pretty sure the old MP40 did have a first raise, so why they actually removed one is, is frankly anyone's guess. Uh, so reload empty is usually a longer uh, reload uh, and involves them pulling the cock back uh, to chamber a bullet. Uh, so export the anim, it's 98 frames this time, grab the notes again, and look there's a whole bunch this time. So remove the note, so instant, that's charge, that's pulling back the, the, the cock, so pulling back this thing. Uh, mag in is where he puts the mag back in. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory, so we get our 
joints again, back up to MP40, load empty, save selection, Xbox selected. No, we don't want to save over a rig. <laughs> okay, and I save my seat. And that's actually all of the animation is done now. That's pretty much the extent of, of what you need to do. I am going to uh, quickly touch on how you convert them in Ape, although I'm going to uh, explain how to, to port the model in the next video. Um, this one is, is specifically about animations, I don't want to uh, confuse people. I'm going to put some uh, tags on the bottom so you can see at what stages I say things, so you can skip the bits. Anyway, so we're done with Maya for the moment now, so we'll close that down. Don't need that picture either. Anyway, get rid of that. So now we want to open Ape. So we'll open that now. One's all the way over there. Okay, now we're going to go back to our MP40 folder. If you remember, we brought this here. Uh, this is because of this. It's an X model export, which is what we used to use in the older Call of Duties. We now use um, X model bins. Uh, so, what you need to do is convert it, and to do that, you use this. Uh, so, what you need to do is hold the shift key on, on your keyboard, right click any window, and you'll have this option. If you just right click, it won't be there. So, you've got to hold shift, right click. Open command window here, I'll open up a little command window and you'll be in this path. So now what you need to do is type export to bin uh, space and then uh, the star key, so that's uh, shift and eight for me, uh, forward space again and then forward slash and B. Now that's telling it to, to run through any X model export or X model animations that it, uh, sorry, uh, X anim exports or X model exports that are in this folder. So you just press enter and you can see processing and now we have an X model bin. So our, our animated model is now done. Uh, we also need to do this to the animations. So again I just I just take export bin with me. I'm lazy like that. Uh, you can use Chronos like I said before you just uh, drag it on then but I don't really see a difference to be honest. So that's Black Ops 2 and there's the MP40 folder that we made and you'll see all of the animations that we went through they're all X anim exports so we placed export to bin again hold shift right click open command window here export to bin star forward slash B and there you go it's now process 39 this time and if you look we have X anim bins and X anim exports so we've now got all the files that we need to, to convert our anims uh, now what I do here is uh, create a new GDT. Uh, I do that just so it's easier to keep track of things. Everything's together rather than being split up and all over the place. It's a nightmare of trying to find things when it's like that. Okay, someone's giving me some some abuse. I like you. See that? See the kind of dickheads I have to deal with. Anyway, uh, we'll find our MP40 folder. When that dickhead stops trying to, to message me. Uh, where'd it go? Ha! Here it is. Now, what I do is I just uh. I just grab the name of the model. We don't want view or anything, so we're going to have a view model and a world model in here, so I usually just grab that part. And then we go. Uh, this is just a, a filter for, for, uh, for Ape, so you don't have to look at the entire list. Uh, create a new GDT. Call it MP40. There you go. We have a GDT now. Now, um, to convert your anims, uh, you want to create a new asset. That's an X anim uh, asset you're going to be making. And I come back to this folder, so I've got the names, so I'll just copy paste the names. So, ADS down. And then what you need to do is come back to your anim. You see, we've got the X anim Xbox and the X anim bins. Uh, so this one was ADS down, so we want the X anim bin. And then in the model file, uh, this is why we need to use our animated model. Uh, so I'll come back here, back into the MP40 folder. 
there is our MP40 animated model, X model bin. So we open that. Uh, you want to untick bones uh, because this is a view model. You only want bones if it's not a view model. Uh, so if it's like a, a character or, or a full body or, or an object in the world. Uh, you don't want to be on delta because that basically means the animation can cause movement. Um, what we want is relative. So we'll stay relative to our position. Uh, and that's actually, that's, that's all you need to do. So when you uh, add the animation to your gun, uh, to your weapon file, you will um, <coughs> you'll see all this get converted uh, when you uh, link your map in launcher. Anyway, that's that's ADS down done. So I've done the quick way of doing this: just duplicate ADS up, up, save. Oops, I don't know what I just clicked there. Duplicate ADS fire, ADS fire. got these billions of animations because apparently that's that's how we need to do it so I just go back go back duplicate underscore empty underscore empty the next one was called forward so I'll just go duplicate forward uh, and then I'll just duplicate that and then do it like that. It's, uh, it's a bit easier that way for me. Anyway, you can do it however you want. The result is going to be the same. Uh, I'm going to provide some files so you've got something to look at anyway. Uh, call in. Uh, the empty uh, animations uh, basically mean the cock will be back on the gun. Uh, so you'll find the MP40 once it runs out of bullets, the cock will be back. Uh, this is so that it stays consistent, you don't see it popping back and forth. So it is very important that, that, that you actually port all of these animations, otherwise you may end up with a very odd looking gun with a very happy cock on the back just jumping back and forwards. We don't want that, especially on pistols, it looks really bad. So take the time and make sure you do this properly. If you do a crappy port, I can almost guarantee you there are some particular members of the zombie community, and one in particular knows exactly who he is, uh, will nitpick at every minor detail that you miss out. There is no point being lazy. All you're gonna do is cause someone to give you a load of grief uh, on the forums or on Discord or something, and it's just not worth the stress, believe me, I have had plenty of stress from people on this, on any of the websites, UGX, MobMe, well actually MobMe's been fine, MobMe's well moderated, um, but other sites, ZM for example, and UGX, my god, some people can be so awkward sometimes, no spec map on that tiny little bit of rope on your, uh, on the hilt of your gun, it looks terrible, rah, rah, rah. No normal map on that one tile that's miles away in the distance and you can only see it with a sniper rifle. Ugh, some people, honestly, are so difficult. Anyway, let's carry on doing all of our animations. Uh, there's quite a lot to go through. Um, Call of Duty is a very, very specific game. I'm sure it's probably the same with, uh, with most games, to be fair, but Call of Duty is the one we have the experience with, of course. Uh, so yeah. Loop. Now we're going to come back to the loop ones in a minute. I'll show you why in just a moment. Let me just finish doing all of these. The D2P animations are called Dive to Prone, and that actually doesn't exist in Black Ops 3, so you really didn't need to do them. Um, I do them anyway because I have some, some plans for the future. I'm going to see if I can get the Dive to Prone working again. Um, I mean, there are still slots in the weapon files to, to place the anims. I don't know if the engine controller is still there and it's just disabled or something like that. In the meantime, I have got some some other ways of mimicking dive to prone. Uh, one in particular, the red space showed me. I've had uh, on World of War, Jaybird gave me one that he used in Leviathan, uh, and that, that was very good. But it was very lagging on co-op. Uh, this is why I was really looking forward to Black Ops 3 because I believed we'd be able to do what's called set velocity in CSC 
which is basically where you cause movement uh, and CSC means on the client side so there wouldn't be any um, delay however this is not an option still in Black Ops 3 so we got to find another way of doing it so I'm rather hoping I can um, somehow turn the engine functionality back on I mean I don't know if you don't know much about um, Black Ops 3 but they replaced dive to prone with um, sliding uh, which is much cooler I will admit and it's much more useful it's much more widely used as well um, but for some strange reason another thing about this community you'll find if you take something away from them they will instantly want it back so because they lost the dive to prone feature that they absolutely never used unless they had a PDP flop up which you couldn't even get really on Black Ops 3 uh, Black Ops 2 sorry um, but nonetheless because it is absent everybody wants it back suddenly typical awkward community so as always I do my best to to fulfill people's wishes and bring back the dive to prone I hope people know the lengths that I go to trying to give them what they want in their games but it's never appreciated so let's not even worry about it anyway we've got a few more anims to do we're nearly there this is the the put away anim uh, there's also a variation of this called uh, quick. Uh, this is for when you quick drop your weapon, so when you switch weapon faster. Uh, that can happen, uh, I think it's if you swap to pistols or something like that, I can't remember. Uh, we've got the reload animation, uh, which is just the regular reload, and then there's reload empty which is where he has my bullet in the chamber. On pistols, you'll notice that the top of the pistol will be pushed back because it's waiting for, for a bullet to go in, and no bullet does go in. Um, then we have the sprint anims, uh, which, of course, are the anims to play when you sprint. Um, and that is actually the last of them, so we're actually very nearly done. loop. Remember what I said about loop animations, but I'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, so we'll duplicate this. Uh, empty. Empty. And then sprint out. Get again. Sprint out. Empty. Okay, now control S to save, and all your animations will now be saved. Now, the loop animations, uh, this is where this comes in, right? Uh, people don't realize that you need to do it on these as well, but these are looped animations, the back, forward, left, and right ones. The in and out ones are not. That's the animation that will play when you go into crawling, but these ones are the ones that play while you're crawling, so these are looped animations. So call back crawl forward, crawl left, and crawl right. Um, if we were to be using dive to prone, then the animation that plays, uh, there's an animation that plays when you dive, and there's another one that plays when you land, but there's also a looping one in between. Idle animations also loop, because they, they are consistently playing, unless if you're not doing anything. Uh, and then the sprint ones, this is, uh, again, there's there's one for when you begin to sprint, and there's one for when you stop sprinting, and there's a loop in between, or while you are continuing to sprint. So that is all of the animations done. If you save now, if you were to try and use these animations, they will all be working. Okay, I don't really know if there's a way I can show you that. Uh, I mean, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll do this. Um, just quickly, uh, I'll uh, quickly just, just do the gun, just to save us a bit of time. Uh, okay. If you remember, we made a gun on mag binded, so I'll just use that. Uh, remember I mentioned the J-gun is now a tag weapon, so it needs to be renamed. We'll go over this in, in more detail in the next video. Uh, for now, this is this is more than more than enough. Uh, anyway, select hierarchy. Next model. Oh, no, no, no. 
we don't want the clip. So something else I mentioned will we'll actually be um, adding the clip a different way uh, using the new new features that we were able to use on Black Ops 3 that allow for better quality. You'll actually see the clip landing on the floor and staying on the floor. Anyway, so rename J guns tag weapon not weapon weapon. Uh, we'll select these. Select hierarchy. Remember on older mices in edit. Uh, export X model. We'll export it back to the folder that we we were in before, which is MP40 view. There goes the animated model that we made earlier. Now we want the view model. Save selection. Export selected. Continue. So that. That's the gun now. The gun's ready. So if we were to um, come back to our folder, we've got an X model export. So we we'll need to hold shift, right click, open command window, export. God, I can't type to, to bin star slash v. And that has now created a X model bin. Uh, and then we want to get the name of that. Uh, just for reference, and then you go to your GPT, new asset, put the name in there, and it's an X model. Um, uh, we'll, we'll find a, a model that we made, so you go back to the folder again. I know this seems complicated, but once you've done it once or twice, it's, it's really not. Uh, so it's this one that we'll be using. Uh, if you look, see, there's no materials. I didn't bother doing the materials. Uh, We'll come back to that in just a moment. For now, uh, I'm just going to do the mag as well, just because it just makes things a bit easier. Let's let's take a look. Mag. MP40 view. Binded. Uh, we need to come back to Maya. New scene. Again, I'll just grab the name. It's another new model that we'll need. So, a new asset, X model, MP40 mag. Uh, we haven't actually exported. What? Hang on a minute. Did I export it to the wrong folder? I think I did. Not exported it at all. Let's find out. I didn't export it at all. See, I'm very lemon today. It's because I'm very tired. I've stayed up all day, um, porting animation after animation, and it's it's gone to my head now. I'm, I'm very tired, so I'm just going to get this done. And then I think I'm going to go to bed, which is a shame, really, because it's very early. I don't like going to bed this early, but you know. That save, save selection, export selected, current selection, and now we're done with, with Maya for now. So come back to here. Uh, if you notice, uh, we, we haven't got export bin in here, so we need to go and grab that again, or we'll use Chronos, whichever you, you prefer. I just like to do it this way, I just find it easier than, than juggling around trying to find programs and things when I don't need them. It's easier just to do it this way. Export to bin star slash v. Okay, so that's that. So, front of file, up to mag, into full view, or bin. Put that there again. Um, uh, I'll just do the basic images just so we can see what we're doing. So, I rename these. You don't actually need to do this, I'll just do it anyway. I like to keep consistency. So, Black Ops uh, 3, you'll notice that all the images start with an I. That's obviously to stand for image. Uh, so anyway, I'll just get the name of the image and come in here and go new asset, give it the image name. It's uh, an image type that we need to make. Uh, it's not 2D, it's going to be a diffuse map and it doesn't like compressed for some reason so I put it on compressed. I'm sure there's better settings, I don't care. Uh, 
before you images. Okay. Oh. Hang on a minute. Of course, I put it in the wrong folder. I want that one, I want this one. I don't want that one either. It stays in the other folder. You can disregard this. This is just so I can show you in game. Uh, yeah, that's still there. Okay. So this is the MP40s um, material. Uh, it's not going to have normals or specs or, or anything like that. Cause I'm, I'm just doing this just so I can show you really quickly how it will come out in game. So you can click that button there. See, there's material missing. Just click that, and it'll create the material for you. Uh, you're going to want lit weapon. Uh, again, there's probably other better settings. I don't care at the moment. Give it that material. I'll just come back to the MP40 again. Camo 2. Create the material. Lit weapon. None. And uh, there was another one as well. Uh, which is only on the. Oh no, we've already, already got that. It's because it's in a, another one of our. There it is. T6 attached bullet. So it was used in my Mauser port. Uh, now, if we if we look at the, the gun, you'll see it's now got materials. Uh, the trick with with putting the mag on now is grab the mag name, uh, and then what I do is I place it here just for now. Now the reason for this is you can then find out what position you need it to be at. Yes, I have a weapon. 4 by 10, not enough. 14, too much. 13, still wrong. 13.5? No, still too far. 9.3? Um, that are two. Yeah, there we go. That's spot on. Uh, the height looks fine to me, so we'll just leave it as it is. Um, now uh, you need to create a a weapon um, file, which I find it easiest to to do this. Um, come to bullet weapon. Uh, what I'm gonna do is go SMG. P40. <clears throat> now the reason I do this is because there is a weapon file already in there. There it is, SMG standard. So take that out. Why are you still? Showing these other things, you shouldn't be showing me these. Not my day to day. SMG standard. Bullet weapon. Okay, I'll just do it this way. Okay. MP40. SMG standard. I really don't like the filters on Radiant, um, on Ape. They're really not very flexible. Let's do it this way. Mag, not mag. What we want is view. Uh, just MP40 on that. Okay, so there we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, this one wasn't here before, last time I looked. That's, that's interesting, SMG standard MP. Okay, uh, anyway, so I just want to duplicate that, and I'll call it SMG MP40. 
Uh, I'll just drag it into there. And then I can get rid of this. I've got a weapon file right there now. Um, I'll, I'll leave everything as it is. It's MP40, it's not whatever that is. I don't know what the game name is. I'm sure it doesn't matter right now. Uh, handle clip. I'm sure that's probably right. We'll find out soon. And then what we want to do is come down to I'm change this otherwise I'm sure something will go wrong. This always does. SMG, SMG enemy, random stats, they don't matter. Well not right now they don't matter, they will in the future. Uh, not right now. Okay. There's the gun. I'm just going to use the view model on both right now, just for making things simple. Now, what we need to do here, and this is the little trick that I was mentioning to you, um, is there's a spot for <coughs> a tag, so for a clip somewhere. Uh, let's see where it is. Front end gun, storage world, tag, da 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 da. da. Attachments or two lines of clip. There we go. We should do it like this for now. That's fine. Okay, and then uh, this is why I uh, put it in here. So it's 13.2 forwards. 13.2 forwards. Uh, what? 13.2 forwards. Zero, zero. And then if we come back to RMP40 view, remove all of this. We don't need it there anymore. And if we come to SMG, can't actually see the gun, but you will in game. Uh, so that is, that is now set up. Uh, but obviously these are these are now wrong, so we need to, to change these. Okay, so these. Are Damn it. Let's get rid of that crap because we don't need it. I don't that either. Okay. This is where we go. So idle. Idle empty. Fire. Last shot. We actually have one of these. It doesn't have a pull out, but it has a last shot on him. Never understand Treyarch's logic on those. Uh, reload empties. Uh, is there, was there a reload quick? I think there was a reload quick, was there? No, let's take these out. Uh, raise is the pull out on him. Drop is the pull away on him. Uh, first raise, we don't have one, so that's going to be pull out. Uh, alternate raise, we don't need either. Uh, we had a pull out quick. We had a put away quick. Uh, we had empty pull out as well. Pull out empty. Okay. Put away empty. Uh, we had sprint in. We had sprint loot. We had sprint out. We also had sprint in empty. We also had sprint loop empty. Now we had sprint out empty. Uh, we had a, a crawl in. And we have a crawl forward. And we have crawl back. And we have crawl right. And we have crawl. Okay. Crawl left. And we have crawl out. And then we also have. Crawl in empty, crawl forward empty, crawl back empty, crawl right empty, crawl left empty, crawl out empty. 
Okay. Don't have mantles. Don't need them. All that, all that, all that. I don't think we even had a, uh, a fire ADS, did we? No. We only had fire. Oh no, we did have ADS fire, didn't we? Yes, we did. Okay. Shot. I mean, this is uh, usually what people do. I'm not really sure if it's the uh, best way, but it's what we're going to do. Um, ADS up, ADS down. That's what I was telling you before. You need these. Without those, you are going to have a bad time. Sliding anims, which we don't have any for the MP40 because there was no sliding in Black Ops 2. Uh, don't need any abilities. wrong as well, but we'll just leave it as it is. Uh, don't need these either. You will want to set some in there, but we're just not worrying about it right now. Uh, leave these as they are. Shared weapons out of the SMG apparently. Okay. Uh, some random sounds in there. SMG fire. Uh, we'll leave the hot icons care about any of that. Uh, and I think that should be, yeah, that's everything we need. Okay. So this is just so I can show you in game what the animations work and how to do it. So you would open up Radiant, which can take some time on my computer. Uh, I don't have a solid state drive. I've got a very good computer, but I don't have a solid state drive and Black Ops near enough requires one. Otherwise, be prepared to wait some time. A lot of people saying on the old Discord while we wait for that. Uh, nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. You can't see it by the way, but, but Radiant is trying to open. I can't can't move it. Uh, processing images right now, apparently. <coughs> My goodness, I'm hungry. Pulling out a very nice looking uh, pistol over that. So, I'll show you that. See, that looks very nice, doesn't that? Very nice. It's very, very nice. Get rid of that. Okay, now we're in Radiant. Uh, again, you, you can't see all of my Radiant. Uh, if you look there, uh, just do this for now so you can see. So, what you need to do. Uh, see where I've put some some other guns in already. See floating about. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, I know what that is. I need to report the mouse. I must have deleted its model. Okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just pop the gun on the floor somewhere. So we'll, we'll just put it over here. There you go. So what you wanna do is go to the entity browser, and you'll find. See, uh, weapon, and I called mine uh, SMG, uh, so it'll be in SMG somewhere. As SMG, uh, MP40. So just drop it in the radiant somewhere. Can't see it, but I'll just pop it on the floor. I could see it, you can't because it's on the other screen. I'll, I'll just give you a quick show. There you go, see, just pop it in there, just drop it down, and then you'll be able to at least go pick it up in game and give it a test. Just save the map, close it. Uh, then you also need to um, come to your zone file and add the weapon in there. Uh, this is to make it load the assets. It's quite simple to do. So, this is a MP40 port, and it is called SMG. So you've got weapon 4, uh, comma, SMG, 
than P40. Okay, I'm just going to compile my, my map now. Uh, I'm going to pause the video while it does that because it will take forever otherwise. Okay, the map's compiled. Um, I've unpaused the video so that I can show you this. And when it comes up. You saw us uh, create the animations at 8. So they're all there now. Um, now, when you do this, when you link it, uh, when you link your mod and you put it in your zone file, that's when it'll actually convert the assets and put them in your map. So we're about to see a ton of text coming up at the bottom saying it's converting all of our anims. This is how you know it's worked. Look out for this because if there's an error in there, it means it hasn't worked. And when you go to pick up your gun, you're probably going to have a face full of pixels. Gone wrong somewhere, you need to identify which anims you've done wrong, go back through them and work out what it is you've done, and then correct it. It's quite easy to correct a broken anim. Can see not the end of the world because you can spend a lot of time doing an anim, but it may just be one that's broken. And nine times out of ten, it's got to be the ADS anim. If you've done anything wrong with that, it affects everything else. So don't don't ever panic if you see that, that something's gone wrong. It's not hard to fix it. You may just need to do the anim again. This is another reason why I saved the scenes because if something has gone wrong, you can just pop the scene back open, correct whatever's wrong, export again, save an ape and then recompile here and you would only need to do link you would need to do anything else just link uh, this is taking a very long time for some reason Complaining about my missing model for the Bowser. That's why we saw that big cube. Uh, okay, there you go. It's converted the image for the SMG, and it's converted the mesh for the SMG. Oh, okay, it's still got meshes for the for the AP9 apparently. Did I not save? Oh no, no, I did save. So there's the animation. See, anim view model, anim, 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 anim. They're all converting, so it's worked. Back empty is not found. Why is call back empty missing? Let's find out. Call back empty, call back empty. Do we not have that one? Call back empty, excellent bin. It's there. Typo in the actual weapon file then. We'll see that. Call back empty. Eh? Okay. Oh, okay, this is what I was telling you about. I forgot to take the goddamn no drag out the the uh, the end uh, the end my track that I was telling you about so it's not part of the plan so I'm sorry if this is confusing you but this won't happen to you as long as you haven't got that end um, no track in your anims if you do this is the error you'll get it'll say end it's not allowed as a user specific no track that's because it's already got one it's telling it uh, that that's the end of the animation so the, the, the engine does that by itself it doesn't need us to do it as well um, so by doing it we, we actually cause an error the easiest way to fix this is just find end. Oh, in fact, there's two. I must have uh, double clicked when I uh, added the note tracks, I guess. And then just quickly redo your uh, excellent bin. Okay, so we need to do. Now, if we convert, if we link again, we'll see that I am convert. I know this can be very confusing, uh, but it's probably better that you've seen some errors uh, and seen how to resolve them, uh, because it's likely you're going to bump into something like that at some point. So at least you see uh, some of what's happened and how to put it right again. There 
a yoke, all of our empty has now converted. So all of our NMs converted. Uh, so the gun should be working. Let's uh, give it a try. The state timers and everything are going to be wrong because we didn't go through them. Um, you can actually get copies of the Black Ops 2 weapon files, so if you want to get exact weapon ports, uh, you can look at the stats uh, in those text files. Um, otherwise, I'm told that someone called Azray has also um, created a, a program that will uh, convert the old weapon files to Black Ops 3. I haven't actually been able to get hold of this program yet, but I'm told about it. I'm told it's very good. Um, We'll find out when the time comes. I'm sure you'll you'll release it when he's good and ready. It's got to take forever loading the game now as well. It doesn't normally take this long to load the game. There we go. Compiling the map because it's a mission. I was only doing that to show you uh, the gun will be on the floor when you start the match. As you can see with the B23R, it was there. Uh, my MP40 sadly wasn't, and my Mauser wasn't because the model is missing and the animations in theory should be missing as well. So that would have failed to, to load and thus didn't appear at all. I'm going to put my contact information down below uh, in the description as well. So if you do get stuck, uh, you need some, some answers to anything, then you can come back to me. Um, I'll try and do another poor video as well at some point, but hopefully won't have all of these problems. Uh, I'll be more prepared this time. And uh, I'll actually video edit it. I mean, this one I've done just as one straight up video because a, a lot of people have asked me. Uh, how it is you do this. I only recently learned myself, but a number of people came to me asking, and um, I was discussing with Porter just how confusing the instructions are on the Modney page where you download the plugins and, and the conversion rig. It's very hard to understand if you don't know what you're looking at already. Um, so this video was intended just to, just to help you to understand the difference, uh, what you need to do. Okay, try it again now. If SFG K6 MP. There we go. We have our MP4. The animations are working. Run. Just put that call in. Oh, 
gun. From an old Call of Duty. Double points! Next video. Next video.